Hey Ryan, I know this is after a loss, but I think we spoke yesterday, and um, you know this was—you had your first win here since 2005. And um, I mean, what what kind? You know, you beat Sam Brock, who's also a very good server. What kind of takeaways can you, um, can you bring home from this tournament? Uh, well, yeah, I mean the last. Better week out. So Sam Quare was in here saying he was pretty happy that you were going to get a chance to play in the Olympics after everything that uh, all the bad luck you've gotten. It's just, when did you realize, I guess, that that would be a, a possibility for you? It's objective, because I think you were all, off the radar for a lot of people who were looking at what the Olympic team might shake out to do. Hectoring, uh, you have limited chances to use it in the Olympics in the tournament without ranking points. Surprise, man. I don't know if that was any hesitation for you, if just for just the Olympic experience is going to be worth that no matter what. So I, uh, I asked Scale Monkeys earlier uh, today if he remembered that match you guys played at the 2003 US, U.S. Opens, and he remembered like the score right away. And uh, um, I guess you know before your these injuries and you're beating a lot of these top you know, these top ten players nowadays. Do you have any thoughts of like what if like what the tree could have become if you? If, have all these surgeries and stuff like that. Does that ever cross your mind or anything like that? Like what was what did you take the medical time out for it during this match? Uh, I know when you were off, you got your degree. What was your degree in? And any any takeaways from that that you're able to use kind of in your day to day life, or is that all on hold till the tennis career is is done? Um, I mean, I don't know. If I'm ever
as you were coming up through the ranks at the start of your career, was the Olympics ever anything that interests you, intrigued you, something you would have wanted to participate in? Uh, yeah, I mean, ever you know, since a kid, I remember watching Andre win the 96 Olympics. And, uh, even though it's not a traditional Olympic sport, I think anytime you can represent your country, it's a really cool thing. Um, so I wouldn't say, you know, I was never, like, when I was coming up originally, I was never really like, close to being able to go to an Olympic team and being a top four American. So I don't know if it was ever really on my radar at that point, but I know that if I ever got selected for Davis Cup or was ever able to play, and at this point in your career, what what does that mean to you? The opportunity to go represent the country, play at the Olympics at that sort of stage. Yeah, it's just an exciting time. Um, you know, there's not many things like the Olympics. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's like I said before, it's just a, it's a different it's a different thing. Uh, you're not there just playing for yourself. You're playing So I'm sure it's going to be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, too. So, you know, you're there, uh, goal number one, to prepare and do everything you can. So you as many as you can and see how far you can go. And then, two, hopefully be able to experience the Olympics a little bit. Any particular athlete or event you, uh, you're most looking I'm forward sure to? I'm sure I'll... for what you're going to do when your pick rankings do run out sometime, I guess, probably later this year. If you're going to go back to town to the town in the future, you might play and yeah. work way back up. Have a plan? Yeah. You mentioned staying healthy as a goal. What, what other sorts of goals do you have at this point in tennis? And, and how over the years have you, or have you over the years, recalibrated that as you've had to deal with things that have taken you off the tour? That's a hard question. You always have short-term goals and then long-term goals. Obviously, you have five so calibrate short-term goals. Uh, you know, long-term goal is always to, you know, in a sense, you know, keep working, your body stay healthy. Uh, you know, I want to play as long as my body's growing. Uh, I enjoy the game. I've been playing my whole life. It's what I love to do. Uh, but yeah, short-term goals, they obviously change right now. It's, you know, trying to stay positive and just realize that, uh, you know, I'm playing a lot better, uh, body's feeling better. Uh, just don't up every week. Um, you know, I'd probably be tough for anybody to you know, be out as long as I was and come back to some of those things. So it's just one of those uh, things where you got to stay patient and uh, just keep plugging away.